Hello, Tupitubers! This is Gustav, the developer of Tupitube. Welcome to our channel. In this video, I want to show you the new features of the latest version of Tupitube Desk 0220. A few days ago, I posted a brief announcement about this new release, but I thought it would be nicer if I show you some examples of the new features. So let's start. First, Dialog to resize the project canvas dimension. From this version, you could change the dimension of your project anytime you need to. This option is available either in the Edit menu and at the top toolbar. Second, Every time you create a new scene, a dialog will show up, so you'll be able to name your scenes as you wish in case you don't want to use the default name. Third, if you want to rename a scene, all you have to do is to double-click on the tab of the scene you want to rename. A dialog will show up, allowing you to set a new name for it. Fourth, from this version it is possible to set an independent background color for each scene. Fifth, drag and drop implementation for images and sounds. This means that from now, you can import images and sounds directly from the File Explorer and the Library Panel by dragging and dropping them into the Tupitube workspace. Sixth, the Import Project option in the File menu will allow you to reuse either scenes or library objects from other source files. This option is also available in the Import menu as the library item. Seventh, the Apply Forward option was added to the mouse editor of the Lipsync module. This feature is very useful at the moment of editing the mouse transformation of a Lipsync object, in case you want to apply these transformations to all the forward frames of that Lipsync entry. If you disable this option, all the transformations will be applied to the mouth in the current frame. Eight, the support for Spanish of the Lipsync module was extended and enhanced. If you speak English, maybe this information is not relevant for you, but I have to say it, sorry. Nine, additionally, several low priority bugs were fixed in different modules, as usual in every new version. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you liked this video, and thank you for watching! Remember that you can support this project through PayPal and Patreon. To be doers, keep animating, and see you in the next stupid tip!